content. In the past week, um, I have made videos talking about um, about uh, finding a relief driver and um, talking to this uh, potential relief driver. You know about uh, the timing that what what time. Uh, what time does he need to drive? Um, how how does he need to hand over all this? But uh, it was yesterday that um, how should I put it? It was yesterday that I find out that we totally discussed so many things for. For nothing for yeah it was for nothing because the <laughs> because it it was yesterday that I realized that he only this uh, potential relief driver his license is only one and a half years it's not two years and the problem is the car renter only allows uh, allows driver that is at least 22 years old of age and more than 2 years of driving experience or has held the driving license for at least 2 years or more so if the car renter say that uh, no, they don't want to uh, let him drive, then 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 there's there's no way I could add him as an additional driver unless I change to another car renter company that allows. And yeah, he has only this this. Uh, this person that that um, contacted me and wanting to be my relief driver, he has only one and a half years of driving ex driving license, driving experience, and so that explains why he he cannot go and get a private hire driving license. Now, now then I understand so um yeah we, we talk this these few days we talk so much for nothing now I got to uh no it's like I have, have to do everything all over again I have to find a new real driver that 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 you know um suits our time you know yeah and everything that's, that's why I'm getting a bit um how to say I'm feeling a bit empty today actually today uh me and the potential relief driver I should say, uh, we agreed to go down to the car rental office. We, I mean, we not say agreed. We we already plan to go down to the car rental office and uh, sign the papers so that so that he he can drive my car. Mm. But we can't because of this, uh, this uh, because of his driving experience problem less than two years. No, no, no PDVL, no private hire driving license is not an issue. But his his age is also not not an issue. He's twenty five years old, so he's above the twenty two years old uh, age. But the problem, yeah, is his driving experience. Uh, to to be specific, it is 
one year and five months so not even two years there's nothing I can do about it have to start all over again and find a new relief driver the the past few days I have shared about my my problem finding a uh, another relief driver um, actually there is one more problem in my private hire driving career and the problem is um, with my grab driver account because previously I I, I was uh, I was under the full-time employment under a, a limousine company I'm not sure whether I want to review the, the name here or not um, but anyway I I worked for them for three months and then they terminated me because of uh, cause of of of, uh, of an accident and And also my 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 working working issue like I, I shall shall admit that um, okay they terminated me and they they are still holding on to my grab driver account from the day from the day they terminated me until now they still haven't released my grab driver account. And because of this, I can't drive Grab. So right now, I'm driving other apps like um, Gojek, Ride, Dada. But they are not so popular and not so... And therefore, it's... Um, therefore, dr driving them is is not not so profitable um, I, f I feel that it, it will be better if I can drive grab together with all these apps uh, so that there's a there's a higher chance of getting calls um, after grab gojek is the I shall say the, the second most popular app in in Singapore um, but you know sometimes um, during the non peak hours uh, even even when I'm you know driving around driving around to to find calls but um, Sometimes there are no no calls, uh, so um, it is difficult to, to drive without without Grab actually. Yeah, Grab is still the, the most popular app in Singapore after after Uber left the the market here. Yeah, so um, because of this Grab driver issue, this uh, my previous uh, limo company. It, holding on to my account until now and still refusing to let go of my account oh yeah I, I forget to to say why did they hold on to my account yeah I understand the, the reason they hold on to my account because they said they overpaid my salary when I was under their their employment they this uh, um They overpaid me my salary and now they want me to return back what they overpaid me even though it is their mistake. Uh, it... uh, sorry for the delay. Yes. 
so uh, it's not just the, the overpayment of salary, it's also because of they, they, they said that um, I kind of the kind of uh, cheated the the grab system when I was under their employment. I kind of cheated to cheated to show cheated uh, show them that I, I I was online, but but actually shit. I don't know how to say. Uh, they, they said I cheated the grab system to to show that I'm online and driving but actually I'm not not not, not really driving yeah so because of two these two reasons uh, they held on to my account um They held on to my account because of the overpayment of salary. They want me to return back what they overpaid me. They held on to my account also because they they, they said that I cheated the system so they want me to return the hours that I actually did not drive. But to, to me, I know that it's a misunderstanding but if they want me to return I got no choice I just want to return them the money so that I can get back my my grab account and continue driving grab using my current rental car so the limousine company that I work for they 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 told me that they are, they are still calculating the the amount that I need to pay them back and yeah un, until now it has been uh, three four months and they are still telling me the, the same thing I called a few times they are still telling me the same thing I, I mean uh, last week I called but they, they didn't tell me that they are still calculating but um, when, when I called the office one, one of their, their staff uh, picked up the phone and I, I, asked, I asked them when, when are you going to tell me the, the amount to, to pay you back so that I can quickly pay you back and get back my, my, uh, my driver account Every time their answer is um, you know, uh, they they will they will ask their their colleague to get back to me. They will ask their finance department to get back to me. You know, their person in charge keep giving me the the same excuses over and over again until I'm so so frustrated that yesterday I went to 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 see the MP my my. My, my friend advised me to, to see the MP, the member of parliament who is uh, in charge of the area that I'm staying. Um, but I would say it is... It is not what I expected, you know. Um, they, they, they said they, they couldn't help. I mean, the, the MP... Uh, couldn't even couldn't even want to write a letter for me because he said that that uh, writing a letter would be would, 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 would be would be useless I shall say because uh, because this is me and and a commercial no, in a private commercial company um, unless it's uh, between me and a government agency or government government sector company then 
maybe uh if maybe if you write a letter you know it, it it could help but because this is between me and a private company so um yeah writing a letter probably would does would would, would do do nothing But he advised me to go down to the office and um, talk to them face to face. You know, demand demand them to um, to 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 release my my account. But I'm not sure whether it will work. I I think that probably if I were to go down to the office, they would give me the uh, the same kind of um, same kind of excuses they, they would probably uh, tell me to go back and you know wait for their reply or wait for the the person in charge to contact me or something like that so I, I don't I really don't know how to settle this issue now probably the only way is to just continue and wait and you know hopefully hopefully one day they would they would give me a reply telling me how much that how much I will need to pay pay them back so that they would release my, my account. Probably that's the only way, just just continue and wait. But I, I still think there's a better way. I don't think that it takes so long for them to, to calculate such a simple amount. If only I, I knew this would happen, I definitely wouldn't join this, this company. And I advise uh, the people who are watching my videos don't don't join this kind of uh, company where they they give you a salary and you and you drive for them. You know this kind of uh, private hire apps like like Grab or Gojek. You know if if you want to drive a private hire, just go and. Go and rent a car yourself and re register with a Grab, Gojek, whatever, and just drive uh, independently. I shall say, don't don't drive under a uh, employment of a company where they where they give you uh, a minimum salary. This is my advice. Then for lunch on that day, I had glass bihun that my wife cooked. I also had kue chap, which consists of pork organs, and my wife had watercress soup with pork while we were shopping at Giant Tampines. After shopping, we went back home and my wife cooked uh, noodles with uh, pork and green vegetables. Then after dinner, me and my wife ate the bean curd that my parents bought home for us. Hello guys. Um, the, the past few days, uh, probably not the past few days, um, Two, two days ago, I shared about uh, my, my, my Grab issue. So my Grab driver account is being held by, by my previous uh, company. For, um, I shall say, almost uh, four months since they, since they terminated me direct indirect uh, in, or to 
put it in a direct way, they, they fired me. This while I've been waiting for their for their response to tell me how much total I need to pay. Mm, one one month ago they told me it was 900 plus, but that was just for the overpayment of salary. After that they told me to to to, to wait to wait a while. They, they will still need to they will need to calculate the they will need to calculate the the, the so-called hours that I treated the, the grab system that, that was how how they, they put it I know it's a misunderstanding I'm not sure whether they, they, they believe believe or not that it was a misunderstanding. It was not how they how they think. Uh, it, it was not how they they think that I, I was trying to, to to really treat their system so that so that I can still still get paid even though I'm uh, even though I'm not really uh, you know, working it, it was not It is not how I. It is not how I. Ah, for, forget about it. Forget about it. Why? Why am I taking taking so long? Think, think, how, how, uh, how how you should say? It. Uh, anyway, the the thing is, um, yesterday they told me that they have finally after. Four months, they have finally calculated calculated the total amount, and the total amount is is much higher than I expected, and I feel that it's too ridiculous. They told me that the total amount is three thousand, <coughs> slightly more than three thousand. Between three thousand and three thousand one, but that that still is is a way higher amount than I expected. I expect it to be maybe around one one thousand plus, not not more than two thousand. But there they are telling me that it is almost three thousand one. Wow. First, when they tell, when they told me that that figure, when when they messaged me that figure, <coughs> I, I I was I, I thought that they were they was joking with me, but it is not. It really is three thousand one. <coughs> And you, you, and um, and why I say it is so so ridiculous? It cannot be that amount. It's because um, <coughs> it's because first of all. 
salary they paid me in those three months that I worked for them might not even be that much. Might not even be three thousand dollars, including the the CPF that they paid me. And now they they want me to pay them back more than what they paid me. That is like totally ridiculous. I I believe that <coughs> they they should just you know ask me to pay them back. Okay, the 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 salary that they overpaid me and. The, the number of hours that I cheated in the system and, and they are telling me that the, the amount is higher than the the, the total you know, the total salary that they paid me for the three months that I worked with them so so they are mean they are trying to they are telling me that so they are telling me that I, I, I didn't work at all <clears throat> I, I didn't actually drive at all come on man I seriously cannot believe At first, at first I was I was thinking to <coughs> to quickly uh pay pay them the <coughs> pay pay them the the amount that they they want me to pay back and quickly grab get get back my my grab driver account. But now that they tell me it is three thousand one. I think it's going to take a much longer time to, to, to settle this issue and get back my crap now. It's not a small amount for me and I, I don't believe it's that, that huge of an amount. I, I, I need more, more details from them before I really pay them that amount. Seriously, don't know what is their, their intention. I've been driving this uh, nine years old Hon Honda City for two weeks, and I shall give my my op opinion on um, on on this car. First of all, I, I think the car interior is quite quite spacious, and the boat is also um, not um, not small. I shall say. The thing I don't like about the transmission is. Um, Let's say you don't look at the this this gearbox or the the lights on the dashboard and you change to change to uh drive from Okay, if you change from parking to drive it might not be a problem. But when you change from um, but when you change from uh, let's say reverse, you are reversing and then you change to drive um, 
you know, most of the time when I change from reverse to drive, I don't see and there are perhaps I shall say at least one or two times that I change accidentally change to a uh, drive tree which is just below the drive because there's nothing to let you know that you're changing to drive tree unless when you are, have been driving on, on the road for perhaps uh, a few minutes or so you'll find that when you're driving fast there is uh, a louder sound so maybe that is when you know you're in drive tree and I shall say it is a bit too too late to know then you know changing to drive tree could use more petrol and it's so so that is the, the bad thing about this uh, gearbox controls um aircon wise I have said before um, the aircon is it takes some time to 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 become cooler especially when you just start the engine and uh, you're not moving and you no know, it just blows up blows up um, warm air not cool air so when I start every morning I start the engine I have to move a little then the aircon will become cooler um, fuel consumption wise say it runs at average of uh, between 12 to 13 kilometers per liter like what it states here 13.4 kilometers per liter it definitely is nowhere near the the Prius but it is mm, It's better, better than my my previous Mazda 3 that I rented uh, two months ago. What else? The the wiper is still um is still the the old wiper. So when it rains, when when it rains, it's very noisy. And um, probably in the daytime, it is okay. But at at, at night, when when I use the wiper, um, when it wipes, the the windscreen will will still. When it wipes, the windscreen will still be filled with water. I mean a little bit of water so it is uh, kind of blur but it isn't too bad um, yeah the, the car is uh, a little bit shaky probably because of the I mean it is the the car is old so the suspension is uh, not not working well so the car is a little bit shaky when it moves at a fast speed or when it moves through you know rough roads or potholes but I would say in Singapore the, the roads are well maintained so there are not many potholes here Another bad thing about this car is the dash cam. It is connected to the cigarette to the cigarette light socket. So, if I want to charge my phone, which I often have to because I'm driving on the road for so many hours, my battery can't 
can't can't last that long, so I need to charge the phone. So when I'm charging the phone, I need to remove the dash cam. So if if the dash cam is powered on, it would light up on the rear view mirror. But in this case, I'm charging my phone, so I have to take out the dash cam power connector and plug in this uh, handphone uh, handphone charging connector to the cigarette light socket uh, yeah I think that's all about this car the the, the radio is uh, loud and clear the the signals are working well Yeah, this, this car is still not bad. It is well maintained, I shall say. <coughs> Only for the, the wipers. Just now, I sent a, sent a passenger to the airport. I, I thought after that, I want to park, park at the uh, Jewel Changi Airport to complete my uh, my photos and video taking of the, the 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 whole place but but after I dropped the passenger at uh, terminal 3 I I I I, I drove drove I was driving on the I was driving on the airport boulevard towards city and I thought that there's a there's an exit to uh to Jewel but I missed that exit so I have to go all the way to PIE PIE towards uh Tuas and I head for the first first exit on on the PIE which is the Changi North Changi South Avenue 3 and now I'm at Changi South Avenue 3 I think ah oh, fuck it I just continue driving probably next next time when I have the free time or I, or I have the opportunity to send the passenger to the airport which I often do and if that happens I, I will hmm, I will continue my photos and videos taking of the new Jewel Changi Airport <laughs>